our families of the Australian government has been sued by families of dozens of asylum seekers killed in a shipwreck off a Christmas island back in 2010. Their lawyer, George Newhouse, said the government knew that the people were at risk out at sea, but did not do enough to prevent their deaths. A boat crashed into rocks near Christmas Island on 15th December 2010. Coast guards rescued 42 survivors, but up to 50 people are believed to have drowned. The passengers were believed to have been mainly Iranian, Iraqi and Kurdish asylum seekers making their way to Australia through Indonesia. Frankly, I, I think this is a shameful and offensive claim to be making. Sure, people have the right to bring cases to court. We're a free country. But they also have to be accountable for the claims that they bring. Uh, the men and women who served that day showed a level of bravery, self-sacrifice, that we have seen only on rare occasions. And the response of the people of Christmas Island, our fellow Australians there, was also extraordinary. And for this claim to be brought in this way today, I, I just, it just beggars belief. I mean, this is like someone who was saved from a fire suing the firemen. It's the families want to ensure that the worst peacetime maritime disaster in a century does not happen again, and that men, women and children do not need to unnecessarily die at sea as they did on that fateful night.